Oscar winner Dame Helen Mirren never fails to impress us in her new movie, Woman in Gold. It's a remarkable true story. She plays a Jewish refugee who battles the Austrian government to reclaim a family painting that was stolen by the Nazis. She was taken Take a look. off the walls of our home by the Nazis. And since then, she's been hanging in the Belvedere Gallery in Vienna. And now you'd like to be reunited. Wouldn't that be lovely? Make you a rich woman, I'm sure. Do you think that's what this is about? No. I have to do what I can to keep these memories alive. Dame Helen Mirren, nice to see you as nice always. To see Welcome you again. back. Thank you. Did you know this story before you took on the role? It is a true story. Oh, it's absolutely a true story, an amazing story. And it for some reason it had completely escaped me. I must be working when it happened, because I think it was quite a big story in the newspapers, certainly a huge story in Vienna, because it was the equivalent, you know, this painting was the equivalent equivalent of the of the Statue of Liberty here in New York. They called it the Mona Lisa it of was Austria. Absolutely. It was the iconic image for Vienna. And as we saw in that clip, um, it, she goes back to find this painting and get it back to her family's ownership, not because it's worth a fortune, but because it helps her connect to her past. I think so. You know, I, I, you know, who knows ultimately why, but certainly that was a part of it. You know, her memories, her life was wiped a, a, away, as it was for so many millions of people in Europe at that period of time. And you know, the amazing thing is how many people now come to me and say, you know, that was my grandmother's story. That was, you know, my mother experienced that. And, and actually, you know, that generation had to get on with life and just go forward. And they, they were quiet for so many, you know, so many, many, many years about what had happened to them. And now, finally, I think they can, they can deal with it. it, it and start talking about it. You know, when, when you come on the yeah. show, I get a note that's got all the tidbits and stuff and articles <laughs> about you. Ooh. One of the things it said here, and it was never fully <laughs> explained, is that your dentist My dentist's helped mom. You, yeah, yeah okay, Mrs. Carlsberg. Helped you connect... Well, because my dentist, I was telling my dentist about this new role I was playing. He said, you have to meet my, see my mother because she was, she was that woman. She came from Vienna from a similar kind of background. And he sent me a little email with a little film of his mom, which I studied. <laughs> and it was true. He was very similar to Maria Altman, who was, who was the woman that I played. One, um, of, the, one of the other things... Who that... also finished up in Los Angeles. You know, it's a great story also about immigration, about an Ameri America, because it was only through America America gave uh, Maria Altman um, refuge and a life, and then also ultimately it was only through the American Supreme Court that she managed to get the painting back. So you know, it's a great story about the about the you know, you know the power and, and and the positive values of America. One of the other things that's in a note like this, Dame Helen, and, and I know you know what's coming, but so many articles talk about you not only as a fantastic actress. But as a mouthful, fantastic, yeah, fantastic actress, actress, fantastic actress. But as a sex symbol, oh, and yeah. someone who exudes sexuality at—I'm not going to say the age, but I don't think you're ashamed. It's very, of, very, 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 very old. No, it's not very, very <laughs> old. Is it something right. that you are conscious about? No, of course not. You can't be conscious about that. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? You just can't, you know, I, you know, people, we all have two people in us. We have the person that we, other people see us to be and the person that we are. And, and you, you are the same. And you just have to let other people see what they see in you and let them get on with it. It's not my business. Is it true you don't love the word sexy? I don't. Why? Because What's wrong I, with that word? Because I think it's, it's totally overused and, and limiting. It, limit, it limits human... Um, uh, qualities into this very narrow, you know, rather mundane and banal little place, and 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 humanity. Human beings are so much more complex and interesting, and and deep, and and, and everything, you know, than that. And and I think the uh, it, it's um, and I would wish there was a better word than that to express something deeper and richer. One of the things we've been doing here this morning is avoiding each other because of germs, yeah. because yes, you're still on Broadway like, oh, in the audience. He's, he's and you heard I had a cold, and you're like, no, seriously, don't, don't seriously, stay away from I me. I know, I know. How are you enjoying Broadway this time? Oh, fantastic. Playing the Queen. Playing the Queen again. Very different from the film. Very different, different piece. 
Um, I don't know if you've seen it, but if you haven't, you should come and see it. It's, it's great, very funny and, and very good. Um, but uh, wonderful American audiences, you know, just they're like your guys out here. You know, they're just so positive and, and res responsive and, and energetic. They're just great. Audiences always respond to great acting, and that certainly <laughs> oh, well, is you in yeah. a nutshell. Dame Helen Mirren, great to have you here. Great to see you, Matt. It's a again. pleasure. You yes. too. And Woman in Gold <laughs> opens in select theaters tomorrow, then nationwide on April. 10th.